Amen. Praise the Lord. New Horizons Church family and friends. This is Pastor Wiggins, and I greet you in the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. This is the day that the Lord has made. I am rejoicing, and I pray you are as well. I am glad in this day, looking forward to what the Lord Jesus Christ has for us. First of all, let me thank you and thank God for you joining us on our Fresh Fire prayer call each and every day. We pray a passage of scripture back to God, knowing that God is no shorter than his word. And this month we're praying about being light in a dark world or living in the light of Jesus Christ, who is the light of the world. There's so much spiritual and emotional and personal darkness that is surrounding all of us that if we're not careful, we'll stumble, we'll trip, we'll fall. We won't make it to our destinations because of all of the darkness that surrounds this world and this life that we're called to live. But the good news is Jesus says that he is the light of the world and we do not have to walk in the darkness of the world. Our vision can be clear. Short term, we can know what to do. Long term, we can have a plan. We can have a vision for our life and our families and our future in the Lord Jesus Christ. So that's the great news today. And that's what we're going to be praying about. We're going to read today from the gospel according to John chapter 12, verse 44 through 46. John chapter 12, verse 44 through 46 from the New King James Version of the Word of God says, Then Jesus cried out and said, He who believes in me believes not in me, but in him who sent me. And he who sees me sees him who sent me. I have come as light into the world that whoever believes in me should not abide in darkness. Amen. As we pray today, we want to lift up four things to the Lord today. Number one, we want to pray that we will respond to the callings and cries of Christ in our life. We want to respond to the callings and the cries of the Lord Jesus Christ in our life. Number two, we want to pray and just be grateful to God that our belief in Jesus and in the father who sent him, we want to be grateful to God for our belief in Christ and in the father who sent him. Thirdly, we want to pray and be grateful to the Lord that Jesus is in fact the light of the world. Then fourthly and finally, we want to pray and thank God that we who believe in Jesus do not have to live or abide in darkness, because we can live and abide in his light. Come on, let's pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we just come to you today, just confessing and blessing you. We know, Lord God, that you are God and you are great. You are great and you are greatly to be praised. God, you are almighty. You are high and lifted up. Your train fills the temple. God, you are sovereign. There is no other God you. There is no other God before you. And we just bow in your presence today. Lord, we thank you for reminding us in your word that Jesus is the light of the world. Lord, we live in and have to work in a dark world, Lord. And we pray, Lord God, and we ask you to forgive us when we've sinned and fallen short of your glory in this world. Then when we've not known what to do or we've known what to do and have done the opposite, Lord, we ask you to forgive us of our sins and to purify us of all unrighteousness. And Lord God, we just thank you today that we can hear the callings and cries of Christ in our life, helping us to know how to navigate the situations and the circumstances that we find ourselves in. We pray, Lord God, today that we would respond to the calls and the, cry, the cries of the Lord, that we would hear his voice and we would know what to do, how to do it, when to do it, where to do it, and with whom to do it, Lord. We pray and we're just grateful to you. First of all, for our belief in the Lord Jesus and in you, his father who sent him. Lord God, you told us we are saved by grace through faith. It is not of our own works, lest we should boast. So we just thank you, Lord, for the grace that is upon our life to know that Jesus Christ is Lord. We bless you and praise you for that. We praise you for the grace that we know that Jesus died on the cross and that God, you raised him from the dead. We pray for the grace that is upon our life, God, that we are saved and filled with your Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Dove. Thank you, Father. 
And then, God, we pray and thank you that you have made it abundantly clear in your word that Jesus is the light of the world. Thank you, Lord God, that we do not have to live in darkness, that we don't have to abide in the darkness that surrounds us, but we can walk in the light of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord God, that through the power of his resurrection, we have been translated from the power of darkness into the kingdom of the son, into the kingdom of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord God, that we no longer have to walk in darkness as the world does, but we can walk in the light that is in Jesus Christ. Lord, help us to learn to live in the light. Help us to seek the light of your countenance early in the morning in the name of Jesus. Help us to walk in the light of your word throughout our day. Let your word be a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our pathway so that we can make the right decisions and to live righteous and holy before you. And Lord God, as we prepare to go to bed at night, illuminate our spirits, Lord, illuminate our hearts, even as we sleep in slumber, that we may wake the next day to give you glory and to give you praise and to give you honor. God, we bless you and thank you that you are light in a dark world. We thank and praise you, Lord, that God, that we can live in that light through the life and the leadership and the love and the lordship of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord, we pray that we wouldn't stumble and we wouldn't fall. We pray that we would hold each other up and encourage each other and strengthen each other in the light of your word and your love. We thank you, Lord God, that we can abide in you, that we can live with vision and hope for tomorrow because you are the light of the world. You are a light that shines in darkness and we live in you. We breathe in you and we have our being in you and we praise you for it even right now. In Jesus' name we pray, amen and amen. Jesus is the light of the world and we do not have to live in darkness when we can abide in him. I thank God for you praying along with us today. Listen, if you haven't done so, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. That way you can get the daily notifications of when these prayers come out. Hit the notification button and then pray along with us each and every day. Share it with your family. Pray this along with your prayer partners as we go before the Lord each day this month. Just praying that we'll live life in his light. It's a dark world, but we can abide in the light of Jesus Christ. I'm so grateful for you today. I love you in the Lord. We'll be back to pray with you again tomorrow. Be victorious. God bless.